You can't do that. In a series of encounters with tenants refusing to comply with landlords' requests, law enforcement found themselves navigating complex situations. We just want to make sure that we're not like, hey, are you here? Like, then she works nine to five, she's always working, so I can't. Yeah. From a friend to a professional scammer. No, I'm not either. There. We gotta walk. These incidents unfolded with tension and defiance. As tensions escalated, officers had no other option but to handle the situation correctly and apprehend criminals. So she lost her mind on me. I tried to have a conversation with her multiple times. I got home at 5 a.m. Her boyfriend's now here. The incident revolved around a couple. On the 19th of October, 2021, in Tampa, Florida, the landlord called the police on the tenant who refused to pay rent. After listening to it, the police instantly reached the address to inspect the real story. Upon arrival at the scene, law enforcement received a summary of events from the landlord. Subsequently, they confronted the couple, seeking clarification about the situation. The officer was taken aback upon uncovering undisclosed information from her. It seemed he changed his mind and showed eagerness to do something fruitful. Go right, ahead, bud. I'm like, you know what? Patience. <laughs> Yep. Sounds good. Hey, how are you? Well, I'm all wrong. Um, Maria? Sorry, I'm just upset. So I own this house. Um, I rented it out to one of my friends. Uh, she never signed the lease, so I was like, whatever. I'm a realtor, so I know how it works. And I just didn't have her sign it because I was like, you know, right. she's my friend. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, so her and her boyfriend were living here, which I never agreed to him moving in, but I just let it slide, whatever. So they had broke up last week. Um, she came up to me and said, I can't afford the rent anymore. Do you think you could lower it? So I lowered it for hundred dollars. I then was like, it's a substantial lower. Yeah, absolutely. She was my <laughs> lower. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry. She has a lush room, which is my guest room. She has a bedroom. She has her own bathroom. So uh, whatever. So then, um, she had told me that she's going to continue to look for apartments or whatever. So I was like, okay, just please keep me updated because I'm either going to have to pay double or find someone else to Absolutely, move. Absolutely, right, right. So I was away this weekend and um, I was like, hey, any updates, whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm actually going to leave before November. So I'm like, okay, that's two weeks for me to find someone. Like, yeah, find someone. Right, right. So luckily I found someone. They said they move in for the full rent um, on November 1st. And then I had, I had told her that. Um, oh, you know how right. I was like, I listen, and I was like, listen, I I will, will let you stay, but I need the full rent because I yeah, have someone absolutely. else who's going to do it. So she lost her mind on me. I tried to have a conversation with her multiple times. I got home at 5 a.m. Her boyfriend's now here. So this morning I asked him to leave. They haven't left since 9 a.m. I've been here. Um, obviously they are both my friends. I don't. Obviously did not. Let yeah, absolutely. Go. You're not but, letting, trying to let her get too far. I've been here uh, since April. And I tried to have a conversation about being in my face. So, and her dad just called me. Oh, we will. What's the issue? I called her. I think it was like 99 minutes ago. Um, she was supposed to call him, I, I think around like 10 30. I was sure. still sleeping. She, I had blocked her everything because this happened two days ago where she just let off on a trip to the mountains. I think it was for three, six days. And right before she left, I was doing, um, I was talking with her in the room and I was like, hey, like this is my first rent that I'm gonna have to pay on myself. And what's it called? The deal was, was that I paid for the two rooms and the one bathroom right in between mm -hmm. sure. $1,100. At first, you made a contract that I know I showed you, but it is in my emails um, of the, the first before. I, I don't know if it was like right before or when I was my first week here. She was like, hey, we should sign this. Um, the rent's gonna be $10,000 or whatever. And then, Sorry. Come on. Or a thousand dollars. Oh God! I was like, <laughs> whoa, what? Sorry, thousand dollars. <laughs> and then he Love actually okay. that same week, I was like, you know what? I basically yeah, stay with my. He could sleeps with me every single day, so I would be, I would be good to more fair, you know. Like it's fully like we're splitting the rent, mm -hmm. you know, me and him in the room. She was okay with that because we're all friends. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, this is her house. Oh, okay. This is her house. She actually is a realtor. 
so she bought this house to live in with her ex mm -hmm. and that she were they were supposed to split the mortgage but then they ended up having like a um a breakup so she was like hey i'm renting out the other room sure. it was supposed to be uh, me and another girl but you see the other room that's next to it's very tiny it's maybe just like a closet sure okay so um six days ago i sat down and i was like hey friend like i'm just letting you know like that off that other room that was supposed to be mine for my class, like all your stuff is in the closet, and she, it's her desk there, it's her, her office room now, which is fine. She actually, her dad came down, and she was like, Do you mind if I put the desk and me trying to be a friend? I'm like, Yeah, of course. If you can, you know, she's a realtor, so I'm like, If you need time to make calls and you want me, like, that's not a problem at all. Like, it's not like I use the room to live there, I just right. put my stuff there. So she said, Okay. She put the desk here, and when we were talking, when I brought that up, I was like, you know, it's basically your room. So if you feel more comfortable with me paying less than eleven hundred dollars for that room that basically you're using, I'll get all my little stuff out there that most of it is yours, and I'll put it in my room. And she was like, no, you don't have to do that. By the time you know this time, we're still like best friends. And she's like, no, we don't. No, we don't have to do you that. Don't say friends. How long have we been friends? We've been friends for seven months. We've actually known each other mm. for maybe like a year because right. we lived at the so. same place. But we weren't like close where right. we just now, six months ago, started hanging out, being, right, you know. Right. Gotcha. But like before that, we, we were just work buddies. Gotcha. You know, our friend, our whole friend group is kind of just like work buddies because sure. we all work that way because we all work the music. So um, that talk, I was like, hey, like, I just don't think it's enough. And she was like, I completely get that or whatever. She was like, you can pay. Um, I asked for 750. She said, is it okay, 800? And we agreed. Then we obviously have the messages the whole thing. Okay. And she was like, all right, you can pay $800. The, um, while she was there, um, she called me and she was like, hey, um, when do you think you'll be out? And I said, I'm going to try to have a place by November. Like, you know, me right. thinking that, you know, obviously this is my best friend. So me thinking that I can maybe be out by November 15th. Like, sure. you, she's a realtor too. So she knows that she, also. Are you, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. She's a realtor. So what I'm saying is that she knows that it takes more than 10 days to find an apartment. You Absolutely. Know? So that's why when it was me being like, I'll move out by November. I've never, and we can go through the messages. It was never me saying I will be out by November. Fresh. Before this, I was living with my parents. Mm -hmm. You know, this is my like first time moving out by yeah. myself, having to think. Like I've never. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's yeah, and then it was this situation, and you know, it was me trying to be a grown up and move out, but it was always her house. She sure. should tell you that I always respect that this was her house. Anybody that came in here, I said, this is Quinn's house and I'm renting out that room. Because it is, I, yeah. I'm 23 years old. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yes, there was a contract made, but it did not get signed because the okay. new rule that so, he was so there's staying no, there's here. No sign either. No, okay, and she also raised another $100. How long you been here? Four, four, four five, five months. months. Yeah. How long you been here? Five months. Five months. So we He's the same time, oh, yeah. Together. Just oh, the okay. first week is when that happened. That's why that contract didn't get signed. So, yeah. what? What makes you? What's gonna make you happy in this situation? So the thing is, we're trying to leave. We're we're trying to get out of here by the first. So she's telling us that we need to get all of our stuff out and go. She's changing right the now. locks right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. She's telling us she's changing the locks right now, and we're we'll, we'll have to set up a time where we can get our stuff like. I got a I got a seven hundred dollar TV in there. You know, like I got. And all of my clothes yeah, no right now, right? No. no. Okay. And but that is the thing that I was like we're trying looking, to tell her. I was like, right I'd now, never so like can I please stay here and you. live in this awkward ass place? Like, you know, it's like just, just imagine you having a best friend. To the, and to the, to the November first, because so. you know, we paid the rent at the I got right, right. receive me no, send her the cash. Go back inside and stay in your place and I'll tell her what the laws are. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's what this is what we needed this yeah. because we didn't want she was saying that she's gonna call people and, and that's the other thing we were talking about it because you guys are trying to go out peacefully yes. and, and, and find find it and, and I, I got that. Well, what was the point of her look? By the first, she feel with that. Don't write it out, do your yeah. thing, just do your best as soon as possible. That's what I know. We're trying to stay in your room, but then yeah. also I didn't know how to go about it because no, she was like, you. since you don't want to have a conversation, the locksmith is right now. And I'm like, I need, yeah, I you know, I just I mean, need to get my stuff out. It's 10 yeah. days, you know, I will be out by the first of her stuff up, but yeah. that is what, you cool. know, before so, me and her fighting, I just was like, let me yeah, talk yeah. about so, so keep, she knows keep it. Keep it peaceful so that with no animosity exactly. happens here exactly. and, and it becomes, you know, a hostile that's environment. And that's the last thing you want. I can see that from you guys. So. So hopefully with, with him explaining that to her, you guys can do your thing, all right? Thank you. I would just, like I said, recommend it to put it in it as soon as possible. Well, I, I know it's a no, pain in the final apartment, but... 100%. No matter what, like, I'd rather ask yeah, for help anytime. than be here any longer than this person. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know that's not an option, and we're both very aware of that. Yeah. We just want to make sure...
sure that we're not like, hey, are you here? Like, then she works nine to five. She's always working, so I can't yeah, yeah. depend on her time to move out in ten days. Just because right, right. it's such Especially a with the locks change. Yeah, it's my first so. time moving out, and I really just don't know. Yeah, what she to can't do. do that though. Yeah. So I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, no problem, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Soon, law enforcement uh, engaged in a conversation with the landlord, briefing her about the issues concerning her friend. Did she understand the point or show the utmost sentiment? So how long does an eviction take? Best case scenario, 21 days. Okay. That's, that's not it, could take a while. it seems like they are trying to, trying to, like, to well, make, to make moves. Sorry. Okay, he has been to jail. He's not going to get a, a she has, doesn't have a job. Right. She's not going to get an apartment, so, so that's my problem. So there. next time okay. you rent, after this is over, right? I didn't know. Yeah. Do, I could do, a, do a background check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't lived in my life forever. That's a lot. Okay. But, um, that's a lot. No, it's just, I, obviously, I just know they're not going to get an apartment, so I'm sure. like, they're going to stay here. Go and start, <laughs> go and start the eviction process. Yeah, I would start that immediately, just in case. It seems tomorrow, like they're trying to do it, but you never know. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, rent here is way more expensive than you think, and they might not be able to get out. I don't, I don't want to do for a living, but rent's expensive, yeah. so <laughs> oh, they ain't going to get out at all. No, that's they don't. what I'm saying. And then I can get them then. Right. Big, Big deal. deal. But <laughs> just, just try to stay apart in the house. Yep. Obviously, you don't want you know, kind of oh, disturbance yeah. to happen. I, I, yeah. So we don't to keep getting called out here. She might be fine. I don't know. You might be out. I don't know. Just try yeah. your best to get along until the process is over. Okay, so out. do I just go to the police station to do that? Okay, I'll just yes. no. okay. I'll go and just say, okay. I need to follow the that's normally all that to the sheriff's office. I'll come out here and serve them and all that. But there's a process you have to go by. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bunch of rigging road, and I think it costs a deal fee as well. Okay. All right. Yes, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. In the contact, but it's been terminated. There were no charges made against anybody. While the couple failed to pay rent for particular reasons, our next individuals thought they could live without paying anything. But before that, let's see an evicted tenant who showed utmost belligerency despite the landlord denying her entry. I was on his eyes. Yeah. Right, come on. You guys, I was just in the hospital for right. day. Right. The incident revolved around a 72 years old woman named Melinda. On the 6th of March, 2022, in Berea, Cuyahoga County, Ohio, the officers responded to a dispute. The female in question had not left the residence, even after the owner's request. Upon hearing it, the officers decided to handle the situation. Right after arriving at the address, the officers acknowledged the situation from the landlord. Soon, they faced Melinda to learn in detail. However, she was showing belligerency and continued to argue with the cops. Her aggression reached a tipping point Therefore, law enforcement decided to handle the situation uncompromisingly. How many loads did we take yesterday? And I took a load today. Yeah. Is of her stuff? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought I thought she was gone a while ago. I didn't she's know. Supposed to be well, gone. she's supposed to be. Has she been formally evicted? Yes. Yeah. yeah we I okay. have an eviction. Okay. okay. I, I just didn't know. Sometimes yeah. we have eviction notices, and then yet they haven't been served through our court. So I didn't. You want to see it? Sure. Yeah. I mean, did, did our our uh, did Tony come over here through the court and say, hey, she, you know, you got to be gone? Did they kick she, her out? She hasn't lived here. She hasn't lived here in how long? Since December. Okay. Yeah, just step of January, I think she moved. But she she is mentally unstable. She is that scares. is that her car? That's her girlfriend's car. Okay. okay. Is her girlfriend here? No. Okay. She okay. May I may I go in? Yeah, okay. Right okay. Yeah. If you get that notice for me, please, okay. so I can. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Brit, please. Hi. Uh, hi. It's a five radio. Good. How are you? I'm good. What do you got going on here? Uh, my stuff from the radio. Okay. Yeah. Were you painting? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm painting my friend's house that I'm living at. Okay. In exchange for living there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Know, How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. She's getting a freaking job in half. Yeah? Heavy, heavy smoke. Okay. A heavy smoker. How are you doing? Oh, really good. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I came for help a couple times up there at the station like they had told me to do, and they wouldn't come. I'm they sorry. Won't come. That's all right. I take a hand, you know, I take matters into my own hands, and there's been a lot yeah. going on here in the past 15 years. Okay. And they found out all about it. Yeah. And they found out how she gets away with it. Do you, want to, do you mind sitting in my car with me to talk to me real no, quick? No. The wind's really crazy right no. now. No, thank you. I don't trust you guys. You don't trust me of everybody. I don't trust anyone. 
I don't think I've ever not, you know, been kind to yeah, you I mean, or done anything. Take off with me, so. No, no, no. Honestly, I was just trying to get out of the wind and stuff to talk to you, and I didn't no. want to go inside the house because it seems like. The wind. You can handle the wind. I didn't know she was outside. Then how much stuff does she have here? You know, we moved all, all the big stuff left is this and this, and her clothes and stuff, you know. She still has a lot of clothing and stuff here? Yeah, but all the clothes she has. Okay. You know, the doors are unlocked. So. The doors of what were unlocked? The house. He refuses to bring my things, so. Okay. You know. So did you go inside the house? I don't know no, what's going on. This car here, look. See, this is all my all the outside stuff. Holy radio. Okay, did you take anything radio, from inside the house? So, I mean, you can look if it's on the radio. Okay. Are you supposed to be here? Um, I'm, I'm coming well, police, in on the last end the of it. The police won't help me anymore. Okay. I've tried three times. I tried last... Uh, like getting an escort to come here to get your yeah, stuff? Yeah, and they okay. won't help me. Okay. So, um, like, she just turned her back on me, I think it was Friday. The, who, who did? The, the black woman that was here that morning with you guys that I called you for grievance for him getting out of hand. I don't remember a black woman. I just remember yeah, she was your roommate. She was here temporarily. I don't think we have anybody that works roommate. there. You guys need to work on whatever she's got in there that's yours needs needs to be out. I mean, you're, you're Victor, but then we left this. I'm just saying, it, it, the excuse to keep coming back is the stuff's here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Next week, my brother's going to help me again with all the rest of the big out. It's almost then, out now. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like 80% out. Yeah. Okay. But, but now I start going through it again because she, she throw everything around. You know, I don't know. It's mine. It was hers. And yeah. The, the guy that you were living with, that's the only person that I knew of. Oh, no. Oh, I mean police people. There's no. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about another officer. Yeah. I okay. Oh no. Okay. okay. She's really okay. tall. I've never um, talked about a yeah, neighbor. Some of you lived with. So okay. I took yes, all I remember stuff her. To Broadview Heights police. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then they sent me to Parma. Okay. And then I Why came did they send to, you to Parma? Well, because he used my identity to transfer some money. And then he used my identity to pay the gas bill and the electric bill. Okay. So there's a lot of things under dispute. Okay. I wish this would just go down. What did she tell me? Oh, she's saying that the doors weren't locked and that she took stuff from the yeah, patio. I took the patio stuff. I haven't been in the house. They said you were in the house, but oh, but well, the whole they, point is you can't. You, you're evicted. You're um, been evicted. Listen, right? officer. Quinn. I've tried three times to get you guys to come down here with me because that's what you told me you would do. You said, we're not going to watch you pack, but once you get packed, we will come and help you get your stuff out. That was three months ago, and yeah. nobody will come with me. All you got to do is call us. Three times. No, I went there three times to your office. It's got to be set up with them in advance. They you just can't walk in the house. Come. I didn't walk in the house. They you wouldn't can't keep coming back here. I haven't in three months. He refuses to bring me my. It's still in there. He doesn't have to bring you anything. Get out of my way! Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You're not, you're not going anywhere. Can I? All right. Don't do it! I swear to God. I swear to God, what? Don't do it. I swear. You guys, I was just, oh, 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 what are you guys doing? Oh. All right. Nice and easy. Wasn't bringing me much. All right, come on, get your leg in here. Oh. I'm gonna get the AC going for you, and we're gonna relax. Him. Oh. Is that necessary? What? I don't know. What is it? Okay. Can you? Can you like? 
I cannot take them lose? off. Go ahead. Okay, I already, I already double checked on. Face. Yes, <laughs> I can see that you got a hair on your face here. All right. I get in there and I remember, mouth. I never just get them out of my. Mouth. I never try to hurt you or do anything. Okay, I understand. You guys to come. It's on record. Okay, I understand that. And they wouldn't come, and so I wanted my patio stuff because they got face out. See, he agreed to bring my stuff to me, and he just won't do it. So I called his sister-in-law. Because I didn't get my 1099 because he was holding on to it. Okay. And all of a sudden, yesterday, his two brothers helped him bring a lot of shit over. Okay. And then he said he'd bring the rest today. He brought like two things. Okay, I can understand because yeah. I know the situation oh, that yeah. you've been dealing with. Yeah. You've been dealing with oh, no, no, no. all this stuff. Out. I found out what's going so, on. So, and I wasn't here for any rest of it, okay? However, no, these are all things. Ow. These are all things that you you talk about with your attorney and stuff like that, okay? And if there's documented yeah, events, that's all going to help you out, okay? Can it, uh, okay, I don't have any. I don't have any discretion when it comes to this, okay? My mouth again? There oh, we go. There we go. You. You're welcome. All right, just remember, I don't have any discretion when it comes to anything. I was just here trying well, to talk you to you. Were never there when I okay. went. Okay, I, I wasn't. I wasn't they here. Me, they told me when I so three months ago, when I got the fake eviction, the illegal eviction. I know how she got away with that. You guys know. Everyone knows. Okay, but can I ask anyway, you a couple things real quick though? Okay, and this is solely this is solely so for your medical. Okay. They said that they would come and help. Okay. Do you have any type of medical conditions? Oh, I've been taking um, fall. I call it volcanic volcanic acid. Okay. Vol, whatever they gave me when I left Okio. Okay, I don't know what it is. Would it have been it's like volume or anything? No, or no, no, no. I don't know what the volcanic. I don't either. Volpro, volpratic. Despite finding herself in a problematic circ, Melinda didn't slow down a bit. Apparently, she failed to grasp the heat of the situation and continued to display her outlandish nature. All right, we're just going down to our police apartment, and then we're going to talk down there. And I do want to check you out and see, you know, how you were, um, just to make sure that you're not injured or anything else like that. Are you feeling any pain anymore? Oh, my knee is killing me. Okay. My left knee and my face. All right, so we're going to check that out, and then if you'd like, we can have medics check you out. Um, I also want to talk about, I know, you know, your mental health status and stuff like that. Of course um, you do, doesn't you everyone? Well, no, that's up to you. I'm not saying that there's anything. Well, why don't you ask the doctor at OQ that released me? How about we start there? Well, I, I wanted to ask you how you were feeling. I'm not trying to do anything. I've been very patient. Okay. And um, so today, so Mr. Perrin has been jerking me around um, getting my stuff. Go ahead. And I know that I couldn't just come here and get it. And he wouldn't cooperate with here being here, here for me to get it, which location. is what they had told me. They said, well, he needs to be there. I said, okay. He wouldn't even cooperate with that. Um, and then uh, would you consent to uh, medical treatment if something happened to you? And we had to, you know, essentially had doctors. If you were in custody and the doctors needed to treat you. Well, for my physical body? Yes. Well, I guess so. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's not bleeding. Your blood would be coming through my pants. Okay. No, I've been really, really good. You know, Depakote is a bad drug. And for 15 years, I didn't cry, even when my dad and my brother died. And uh, I gambled all my life savings away, lost my husband and my house. And uh, I found out in the hospital that Depakote mixed with Soloft is a very dangerous combination. And so they fired my doctor. Dr. Polster, he's been my doctor for 15 years. Hey, listen, you shoved me and tried to start your car with me in a doorway. I don't well, have any sympathy for over. you. Didn't go over well, well for you. Well, you scared me. Why were you guys bringing me in here? I didn't do anything wrong. Because the I woman wants to be charged for trespassing. For uh, the <laughs> All I did was get my stuff off the patio. No, you were in the house. You said you were in the house. I said I was getting my stuff yeah. off the yeah. patio. I'm trying. Have you ever tried to get out with these on? Can't say as I have. Well, you want to try? Ow! Do you want to try, like, right now? Ow! I have a really bad skin cancer thing on my calf. I mean, look at the one on my arm. Okay, so we'll, we'll look at it when we go inside. Like it. We'll look at oh, it when we go shit, inside, yeah. okay? Yes. All right. All right. Sure. All right. All right, and then if you're cooperative and everything, if you don't want to give us, you know, a hard time, which I would appreciate if you didn't, we'll unhandcuff you and let you sit there and relax for a little bit, okay? That's fine. Maybe I can get you, you a cup of water. Can you pee? pee? Okay, yeah, we have a bathroom, and I can offer you a cup of water. 
Wow, I have been talking I, to more go over here this room to the right. people. I used to work with them for 20 years. I Who, Berea? No, Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland? Not University Circle. Okay. For 20 years, I worked with them. Okay. You guys got a job to do, you know? We right. don't get paid enough. Huh? All right. If I unhandcuff you, yeah. do you promise me that you're going to be nice, oh, cooperative, you and you're not going to try do? to fight us? No. Okay. Uh, I just got to Okay. Pay. I can't wipe with my hands off. Okay. Unless you want to wipe me, too. No, I definitely would not. What? I always see that thing? Yes. Oh. That's what, well, it's squamous, though. That's the one on, God, my pants. That's what the one on the back of my leg looks like, only, of course. Okay. You can't use this one. Oh. You want to go on the side. Oh, am I going to be locked in this house? So actually, before you go in there, let me let me go ahead and uh, do a quick search on you, okay? What do we got going on here? What's in this pocket right here? Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay. And then we'll just have you remove your ring and stuff when you're done, okay? Oh, Because yeah. we just have to log all this property. Okay. Hello? What? Okay. Okay. I'm getting you some, sorry, I couldn't find a spare roll, so I gotta actually like unravel it. You're fine, and I just don't know how much that you need, and if you need to blow your nose or anything oh, else. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'd rather have more than enough than not enough, so. Melinda was charged with trespassing, resisting arrest, and disturbance. Now, let's see a couple who got several warnings to get evicted from the landlord, but didn't respect the decision. All right, last chance. Open the door. We're coming in. All right, boys, ready? Yep. yep. All right, let's do it. The incident revolved around a couple, Adam Moore and Jamie Dixon. On December 10th, 2022, in Rocky Road, Ross County, Ohio, the officers responded to a call from a homeowner reporting a couple was living on his property without any permission. Right after they reached the address, they instantly began the inspection. Upon reaching the location, the officers didn't waste any time taking action. Since Adam was reluctant to cooperate, the authorities were forced to raise their tone and take a stiff neck decision concurrently. Subsequently, they applied a similar approach to Jamie. Someone just opened and then immediately closed the door. You need to come to the door. They're looking at the blinds over here. You know whose dog this is? I have no idea. Okay. So there's someone in there. So they come over here. You live here, right? Do you know who drives that vehicle? No? Okay. But you live here, correct? Uh, your boyfriend lives here still? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Could he possibly have given someone permission? He's not supposed to be here either. Oh, it's not? Okay. You said you don't know which car that is? Nope. What's the plate say? It's a dealer tag. Oh. There is a back door. Okay. Sheriff's office, if you're in there, come out. Sheriff's office, if you're in there, make yourself known and come out. I heard this place. Is there more trouble again? Uh, well, we're trying to figure that out right now. Where do you live? You own this? I live on Walnut Creek, but I mean, I own the trailer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Someone's in here. Can you just come on down here? Whose dog is that? No idea, but it's it's been, I haven't had any issues with it. He's just been eating the loose food here. Is this your dog, Kajora? Is this, this your dog? What? No. no, that's not my dog. They locked it. They locked it. Do you have a key? You don't. No. Open the door. Ross County Sheriff's Office, open the door. I heard someone moving. You want us to force it open? You have no key? I don't, know. Okay, well, they've locked it. You want us to force entry? Are you gonna blow my door away? No, we're gonna kick it, but we're not gonna oh, shoot okay. it. Okay. Um, you right can, here. the back door would be easier because it's already been broken into. But yeah, do what you gotta do. Okay. And you're the, uh, you own it? I own this park, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Okay, it is. Um, that loser out of Whatever you gotta do is what happens. Do you know who it is? No. Okay. The sheriff's office, come in, we're coming out. All right, last chance. Open the door, we're coming in. All right, boys, ready? Yep. yep. All right, let's do it. Her movement to the right. Sheriff's office, come Sheriff's out! Sheriff's office, come in! 
Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Right there in the back. Right here. Come out here. Put your hands up. Hands up. Walk out here. Put your hands up. What do you mean? Get out here. Keep walking. Who else is in here with you? Okay. It's late. Don't worry about that. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands back. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Put your hands back. back. Is this your home? No. That's why we're here. Who else is in here with you? Smoking wheels. So. We're going to this second cruiser right here. Can I ask you what I'm doing? What's wrong? Yep, I'll explain it to you in a minute. You're not currently not under arrest. You're just being detained for investigation. All right. Well, I need you to tell me if anyone else is in that house. I just, I, I just got, I don't, I don't know. Logan was, Logan was here a little bit ago, and he, and he left. Okay. Hang. There's Logan and the um, somebody else. Um, I don't forget his name. Okay. Well, hang tight for me. All right. Thank you. Yep. Hey. Um. Who, okay. Alright, where do you go? Okay, Logan. Oh, I'm keeping We unlock your cruiser. Where's my that? Huh? Where's Adam at? Uh, in the back of my cruiser. Well, can I go there? Nope. Why? Because I said. Oh, here. Yeah. You're killing my arm like that. You gotta hit me with them. Okay. And then I'll sit with them like that. Oh, I can't. No, I'm. Go up again. No, no, up against the cruiser. Alright. We change these, are you gonna fight? No, I'm not, okay. I'm not I don't fight. Okay. Will you I switch these to the front? Talk. I can't. She's claiming medical. So. Yes, it is. Can you see my scars on my neck where I can have surgery? We're switching them around real fast for you. I Alright. Don't. Like 40. If you, you try to fight, fight us, You're it's gonna end badly. Alright. I'm not fighting you. Uh, I'm not that way. I wouldn't fight. What's your name? My name's Jamie. Jamie what? Moore. Jamie Moore? Okay. Alright, we'll be Moore soon. Oh. Can that one be a little loose? That one's kind of tight on it. This one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not hurt my arm. That's, I mean. All right, I'll lose it. It's, it's, it's fine. There's, you got room in there. Hold on, let her lock it. <clears throat> give them to Adam. Please. Right. We give them to yep. Adam? Yep. Have a seat. Oh. What's your last name? Mm -hmm. No, what it's gotta it be now? more. What's your name? Engaging with the landlord, deputies gleaned intricate details about the couple's transgressions. Later, both of them found themselves in a complex condition. Since their crime has been revealed, the police are ready to take the next steps against them. Logan Reno said they could stay there. Does Doesn't he live there? No, that's, no, he lives yeah, yeah, there, yeah. but... I mean, it's Logan. You told me he wasn't allowed to be. There. Well, he, I, he's not. I told him to leave. So does that do anything? Like, I don't well, want him there. Be there. If you say he can't be there, he's not allowed to be there. you got to make up your mind. I think you say one thing and do another. Is what the problem is. I mean, I've told him multiple times to leave my house. Ro that Ro I don't he's want out of there. jail, but we, did he get a stay away order from you? Is he allowed here? Has he been here since he got out of jail? So I called him and asked him if they would come out to let him get his stuff. And she told me that they weren't going to bring anybody out here. Yeah, you have, He has because, to come in and get a standby order yeah. if he's been told that. He has to do it. It's not your responsibility to get his stuff. If you want to pack it up and set it out for him, that's up to you. But he's already been told how he's supposed to do that. Is he here? Well, has he been here? He or? has been here. Has he been staying here? Yeah. Why? And I've been telling him to leave. I haven't been staying here. Where is he at now? I have no idea. Does she need a restraining order to keep him out? I've told, I've told her. I told you. I told you. you no, I'm, I have one in the works. Like, they, I have to go to court wrong. for it. Okay. Where have you been staying? My grandma's. But she's the owner. She didn't give him permission. Why would they have permission to be there? Where did Reno owner that number to do this place? He did live here, though, didn't he? Does he still live here? You're saying he's still staying here? Yeah, but I've told him to leave. Okay. <laughs> you have to get that protection order. And I'm getting the protection. They literally told me that I have to wait until January 5th to, like, for my court date. They didn't grant next part day or anything? I asked them to, but no. Well, all right, give us one second. Let's look into some stuff and we'll be back. Where the hell? Did you need to say something? Yeah, I said I need to get to the hospital because my back up for more. I don't care. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to our jail for burglary and resisting arrest. I ain't resisting arrest. 
You don't tell us what we're doing. We tell you what the to do. I don't give a You're burglarizing the house. Shut your mouth. Go ahead and hold the window. Yeah, go ahead and soon. All right, here's what's going on, bud. Logan Reno has no permission to be here. So I can't give permission for anyone. to be here. So you're going to jail for burglary. Huh? The homeowner's right there. Cop up here? No. Huh? So we messed your door up, so I don't know how you want to fix that. But he's not supposed to be here. Uh, I, if he's been here, I'm going to call his. I'm going to call the municipal court and see if we can get his uh, bond revoked. Did he bond out? Or did they O R him? Uh, there's. We're just. The jail is like ten minutes away. We told you what you're going to jail for. Yeah, but Logan was just here. He told me. He told me to stay here. Went on the UPS. Logan has no permission to be here. Uh, and the court system. I know that. I talked to her. I know her. Who? Her. Nope. She's uh, she's already said that you guys weren't supposed to be here. Well, I, how did it's, I know that? It's all on body camera, so. How did I know that? How did I know that, sir? Well, I lie down for us. How can how do how, how can you talk to someone I don't even know? What you're I'll be back three five. Can you for what reason? <laughs> Burglary, like I explained to you. Burglary? What, what, why is it a burglary? And Logan was just there. Then why didn't you come to the door when we, we knocked I and yelled? I just got the shower, dude. You should see that. Okay. The closer in my closet. Where's my stuff in the bathroom? Damn, yeah, we door for what? You'd have to check with the courts, but it's on the court docket. You can check the municipal court webs until it got the municipal court. You, you got in trouble with it out there or something? Uh, I, something with the house or her, though, so that he's not allowed to be at the house. I'll explain it to you again, all right? I will try and make it make sense, all right? I mean, there's a little bit of a Yeah, uh, it's... No, it's no time again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. no, I don't know because you're getting charged with burglary. No, he's not allowed to be there. He's not allowed to be there. So he can't. Yeah, he can't give you permission to be there when he's not even allowed to be there. My leg is numb, I can't walk. Okay, get up. Come on. I can't get up. You guys f back up. Okay, come on. Uh, well, maybe you shouldn't resist it, so. I didn't resist. Yeah, I was telling you guys something. Get up. I can't, man. I can't have to fall. Oh, please. Put your chair stand. around that corner. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't stand. That's f leg in my back up. For real, for real. I'm already. Oh, the nerves now. There you go. Uh, are they supposed to take me to a dinner? Who is? They was. Why? They asked and I said, yeah. They my back and my neck up where I had surgery, and I'll be paralyzed in two years from it. They want to be an ass. They didn't want to listen. So when, when, when did you have surgery last? Uh, about a year and a half ago. And they said I'll be paralyzed by the time I'm 40 because of my final 40 being crushed. And they want to be asked for the They want to tell you how your name is. Okay, that's called them out of their name. That's not their name. Well, I don't know who is it. No, my back. Barely. It my back up. No, I wasn't either. Guess I weren't hurting the fighters, were you? Yeah, I wasn't fighting you guys. I was telling you guys something. You guys didn't want to listen. Okay. For real, for real. They, not, cops don't ever listen. It's their way or no way, really. So I can, um, like Fayette County, I'm suing them. They're uh, sheriffs, three of them, four of them actually, three guys and one girl. She's there. She's been there all this time. No, I'm not. My leg is numb. I can't feel my leg. That's what happens when my leg gets pinched. I can't feel it. <laughs> 
No, it wasn't. I was telling them, trying to tell them something, and they went to mess it up. He went, listen. Well, and the ball had to go to school. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's going incident. You have another rule. Well, that's it. Not me. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be more than a thank you. Oh, it's got to get with me. Right, get off. Yeah, I'm not either. There. We got to walk. I can't 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 walk. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Adam Moore and Jamie Dixon were both arrested for burglary, a felony to offense. Dixon was also charged with resisting arrest. While the couple continuously neglected the landlord's decision, our next individual learned the hard way that living in a property without rent wasn't possible at all. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Snatch it out of his hands. No, I didn't do anything. The incident revolved around a 41 years old man named Christian Philippe Leonard. On the 7th of May, 2022, in Liberty City, Gregg County, Texas, the officers responded to a report of a man refusing to leave the property that he rented. Right after reaching the address, they immediately started the investigation. After coming to the address, they found Leonard and encountered him in a combative manner. Soon he found herself in a contingent situation. Even in such a tricky condition, his miscreant behavior was still at large, and the cops were also surprised by his actions. Despite repeated warnings, Leonard's obstinance further complicated matters. Police, open the door! We're not going away, just open the door! Police, open the door! Do you have the key? Yeah. Uh, get it? Yeah. The key card? Yeah. We just go up to it and... All right. You put this to the door and it unlocks it. Okay. Now unlock it. Yeah, it's red light. It's not working. Oh, you put the double lock. You put the deadbolt on? Yeah. Hey. Yes. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. No, don't, nope. don't move. move. Hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hands up. Put everything down. Everything down. Everything down. Now. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Snatch it out of his hands. No, I didn't do anything. Get up, not this thing. Get up. Run us on the phone. Put your hands on the phone. Turn around. Hey. Come look at me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back now. Drop it. Put your hands. Quit resisting. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I was actually walking back and and I can't hear the phone well. I'm serious. The guy called the auto car. Hey, now you're talking good. I am because I can't see the computer. I'm looking for my receipts and everything that they took. The computers and everything. I'm serious. I'm I'm just What is that? Stop turning around. What are you doing to me? I didn't do anything wrong. I promise. Oh, that's a lot of trash. You're so bad. No, no, no. I just kissed Hey, you scratch me again or punch in your back. I'm going to you. I'm going to I'm telling the truth. Do it again and you're getting tased. Do you understand me? Don't f***ing move. I don't do anything wrong. Turn around, face the wall. They don't want you here. I know. Because and all you had to do was come to the door and talk to us. I couldn't hear No, no. You looked at through the window, dude. No, I, can't I don't want to hear none of that. Pick up your shorts. Huh? Pick up your shorts. You're hanging out. I'm sorry. Hey, you have a license? I have my ID. Where is it? Hold on, I have to use my phone. 
Hey, hold on. We'll get it here in a minute. My name is Christian Philippe. We know who you are. And I don't know if you know. We're just shooting them back. And then the police are going to stop us. Stop. 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 Stop
Turn around. turn around, face that way. Do not turn around again. Do not turn around again. Face that direction. Face the door. Face the door. Face the door, dude. Stand on the blue line. <clears throat> I don't know if she said any of She just said, What's in the world? What's in the world? I didn't even tell her what's in the rest of it. just brought her into the room. Into my private. Into the kitchen. Into the private. I didn't even have Take a step back. I'm very serious. The whole the way from from over there because I saw the clouds and the long way. And it was beautiful. But the next thing that happened is that. That's fine. No, because the Lord was wide open and I wasn't there. And then when I came back. You got gloves on. Take those off. I got gloves. I'm not talking to you. Stop talking. I don't like you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop talking. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm about to die. Hey. Hey. I went through this last time. Okay. Take him off my mom. He's going to do it the entire time. I'm serious. He's going to pass down and broke them. I'm going to do something. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm serious. I'm going to do something like that. Mr. Bernard. And then Mr. Leonard. I'm done. Cristian, cállate. Te estoy diciendo la verdad. Es bien que yo fui de pequeño y para atrás. Y me lo arrebató. Y no sé qué es eso. Let's go. Where we going? Nowhere. You're staying here. I, I apologize. I'm sorry, guys. Go sit down on the beach. I'm sorry. I didn't know anything. So I brought them to the room. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. Hey, it's put it up for you. You're going to get a bank, okay? Just go sit down. Go sit down. You'll get it when they're done with you. Go sit down. You don't want to touch us. Come on. We'll be back. Christian Philippe Leonard was charged with resisting arrest search or transport. Now, let's see somebody who was professional at scamming and got the appropriate outcome. Two keys are for the two different locks. There's a Sheriff's Department eviction, open the door. The incident is centered around a woman named Candace Clark. On the 14th of January, 2022, in Cook County, Chicago, Illinois, the officers responded to a situation regarding an eviction incident. Right after reaching the address, they didn't waste any time to investigate. Upon reaching the location, the authorities were searching for Clark. Apparently, she was not someone they could find so easily. She was continuously showing negligence and didn't have any intention to follow orders. Despite repeated orders, she didn't pay any heed to the matter. Are for 
refer to two different locks. Sheriff's Department eviction, open the door! Don't open the door. Everything is clear except for the room with the dog. Okay, so there's... All right, we're going to need you to get dressed. Okay, I'm, I'm going in that room. All right. Let me knock on her door and let her know. Well, let us, uh, just don't, let please don't let that dog out. I, Ms. Rice, I'm not going to let him out. He's not, she's not going right, to let him out. I do not want to hurt that dog, so please. No, you need I'm to get not. dressed. I'm going to knock on her door and let her know what's going on. All right. So we can get the passenger. Tell her not to let this dog out. Oh, I'm going to go to the 
All right, you decent, ma'am?
just need this two hours to put our stuff in. Ma'am, I'm sure my partner explained to you outside, out here. We don't move stuff out. We're, what you're going to do is you're going to talk with him outside. Either he can let you come back in and get your stuff. He can set up a date and time for you to come back and get your stuff. That's between you and him, not us. Like I said, I want you to get your little shoes on, grab the things. Got any medication you need? Okay, you got any medication you need? Yes, we do. I'm going to make sure you grab that. Got any large amounts of money? Uh, not Okay, any valuable jewelry? Uh, yeah. Okay, make sure you grab it. Do you have any weapons in here? Do you have any guns? No, there's no weapons anywhere. Alright, do you have a safe or a lockbox? No. You're going to take the dog with you, right? We're going to take the pets with okay. us. Okay, alright. If we could just get a second. There's a cat in the back and a dog in there. All clean clothes that were washed yesterday. Well, all I, what I need is you get some socks, okay? Okay. I'm trying to make sure my uh, that she's okay, too. She's well, we're going to get you dressed, and then we'll check on her. shoes on. Despite the repeated orders, Clark remained steadfast in her usual demeanor. How did the police react to her defiance? All right, let's get your coat. Okay, can I get my bag so I can talk? Uh, my, bag, my, my bag is right there now. Uh, what are you going to put in it? I'm just going to toss some clothes and stuff. No, I just explained to you. I'm going to allow you to take some medication, your jewelry, and we're going to grab your pets and we're going to step outside. You're going to talk with them about getting the rest of your stuff back. By law, you have to have access to your stuff. They cannot hold your stuff. Okay, well, while we have this... Yes. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. gentleman outside about getting the rest of your stuff back. Well, he can, if he gave wait, us wait, today, wait, 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 Stacy, is he up? Is she on the bed? 
Okay, hold on, she's at the door. Let me clear one. Get ready to step into the bath. Cannons was charged for skipping out on rent, owing them some $300,000 in lost rent and repairs for damage left behind. Shortly, Chicago police arrested Clark. The most serious charges involved Clark using forged documents to rent those luxury homes in Lincoln Park and never paying any rent, more than $80,000. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.